Good morning everyone! So for today's video, I'm super pumped because I have been preparing for this video for quite some time now and if you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know I love me some Korean beauty dupes and by Korean beauty dupes I mean basically Korean beauty dupes of expensive Western products. I've been seeing this kind of video float around the internet for a couple of years now, but I thought I'd take it upon myself to do the Korean version of it. So we're gonna get started without much further ado. I feel like I don't wanna get too chatty because this video is gonna be chatty enough already. Now before I start applying the makeup, let me go ahead and throw two disclaimers out there. The first disclaimer is, is that pretty much all of these are fairly new dupes. Like I said, I've done a bunch of dupe videos before. There are some overlap in this video, but I will link down below other videos that I've done more Korean beauty dupes of high-end products, so you guys can check that out in case you wanna check out some more products and ways to save your money. Disclaimer number two is that I don't necessarily have the luxury of looking online to find dupes. All of these dupes are ones that I found of my own. So for this video, I did my best. Some of these might not be exact, but you know, when you're shopping online and comparing, um, you know, you do what you gotta do. And I guess that's kind of gonna be the fun of this video is finding some gems and finding some duds. <laughs> okay, so first I'm gonna be talking about some primers. I have these two here. The high end is the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Foundation Primer. And the, I guess, Korean Beauty Dupe, it's not necessarily low end, but this is a prime primer classic. Now I've referenced these before, so these are actually not what I'm gonna be applying on my skin. The Smashbox one is $36 and the Manilica one is $20. What I am gonna be applying on my skin is actually something I've never tried before, so we're kinda of taking a shot in the dark here. Um, I've got here for the high end, the Stila One Step Correct Corrector, and then on the Korean Beauty Dupe side, I have the Holika Holika Naked Face Balancing Primer. The price difference between these two is the Stila one is $36, and the Holika Holika one is $14. In the containers, they pretty much look exactly the same. I'll show you guys close-ups. But, you know, the, they both have like green, peach, and lavender kind of correctors. Um, this feels really, like, oily. <laughs> this is what the Holocolica one looks like. The Holocolica one definitely employs a lot more of the brightening aspect to it, which is kind of what Korean Beauty is known for. Actually, both of these are pretty similar in feel, except I do have to say, I feel like the Stila one's a bit oilier. There are my primers. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my eyebrow. For the expensive or luxury side, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have the mini versions of all the Benefit uh, products because I do buy these myself, so I don't wanna buy the full size and spend a ton of money, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the full size product the full size prices because that's usually what you would buy. The full size of the brow goof proof product from Benefit is $24 and I'm using for the Korean Beauty dupe this one from Etude House. This is the eyebrow contouring multi pencil and this is about $9. Now I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys, I really don't care for either one of these only because I honestly prefer to use a thin pencil type of format or a pot type of format when it comes to my eyebrows. I feel like these get kind of messy and they're hard to control. I don't think I would pay almost triple the price though for the Benefit one. It's just, again, not my favorite anyway, so I probably wouldn't recommend either. I'm doing great, aren't I? <laughs> now the next two are definitely dupes that I've been talking about for a while, and on my high-end side, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. The price of the full-size one of these is $22, and then on my right side, which is my Cream Beauty side, I'm gonna be using my Tude House Proof 10 Eye Primer, which I have been using for years and love because it's only like seven bucks. So these are pretty identical and honestly not worth the price difference. I would definitely recommend the Tude House one because although this one is a little bit thicker in consistency, I feel like this prolongs my eyeshadow and makes my eyeshadow look just as pigmented as the Urban Decay one. Now this is where yo girl spent some moolah and <laughs> I can't believe eyeshadows cost this much. I was shocked. Okay, so for my luxury side, I'm using the Natasha Denona 
Lila palette. Lila palette? Light Love palette? I don't know. I'm not up to trends. Um, and then this is from a Tude House, and this is the Personal Color Palette Pro in the cool tone eyes. Now this is one where I was just kind of blindly hoping that they were gonna be similar just by judging the colors in the palette because again, um, it's hard for me to try things firsthand since I don't live in Korea and also because, like I was saying earlier, um, I don't have the luxury of just looking online and finding dupes other people have found because I feel like, you know, that's not obviously as common. I bought these because they kind of look like similar colors, right? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> uh, see? They look pretty good. Like, my eye, I'm trying to think about my focus. And let me go ahead and tell you guys the prices of these because I think, yeah, yeah you'll just figure out why. So the Etude House one was $34, which is actually fairly expensive for a Korean beauty. And the Natasha Denona one was $129. Natasha Denona, I don't know where you get off being that expensive. It's like people pay this much for eyeshadows. Okay, so this is the look I came up with. It looks fairly similar. Natasha Denona one is a little bit better quality because Korean beauty companies are not necessarily known for like super pigmented or crazy bright eyeshadows. They're more known for a wash. But I have to say, for being such a fraction of the price, Etude House came really close and I would definitely recommend if you are looking for a dupe of this, then possibly look into the Etude House one. Honestly, weren't for this video, I would not have bought that palette because Mama just doesn't spend money like that. Next, moving on to my eyeliner. You guys have seen these before, but I'm going to bring them back because I think they're excellent dupes for each other. The one for my left side is the Tarte Tartist or Tartiste Clay Paint Liner and the Korean Beauty dupe is the Misha Palette Paint Liner. Um, the Tarte one is $24 and the Misha one is about $10. And since I have reviewed these before and done a full video on kind of comparing these two, I will tell you that they are actually very similar to each other and at the end of the day I actually ended up preferring the Misha one because it was a little bit easier to apply so these are definitely excellent dupes of each other both of these are very long-lasting and I personally really like clay or gel liners so these ones I like. Now moving on to the mascaras, I'm going to be using the Benefit They're Real mascara on my left side and then for my right side, my Korean Beauty dupe, I'm using the Holocaholica Magic Pool mascara and I'll show you guys why because the brushes on these are a very similar format. Both these kind of have like that little normal mascara wand and then the little spiky ball at the top. <laughs> slight differences between the two. The Benefit one is definitely a little bit more volumizing than the Holocaholica one. However, if you are looking for a dupe, I think that the Holocaholica one is a really great one of the, the real mascara. So now that I've finished with my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my foundation. Now these are very notable dupes of each other online. Um, on the left side, my luxury side, I'm gonna use the Estee Lauder Dubber, Dubber. <laughs> Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. Um, I'm gonna be wearing two W1 Dawn. And then on my right side for the Korean Beauty side, I'm using the Etude House Double Lasting Foundation and I wear the shade Amber. I would say for these two foundations, between the two, I actually do prefer the Estee Lauder one because the Etude House one is very quick setting so you have to work with it fast. It also feels a bit heavier on the skin than the Estee Lauder foundation. And considering both of these are about the same amount of coverage, um, I really appreciate the fact that the Estee Lauder one is a bit more lightweight. However, again, if you are looking for that dupe, the Etude House one is excellent. Both of these are very like matte feeling, so you don't even need to set them with a powder if you've dry skin like me. If you do have oily skin, just set it where you need to and you'd probably be good to go. 
Alrighty, next for concealer, these are ones I'm kind of doing a little bit of a shot in the dark because I haven't tried them next to each other. However, the concept of these seems very similar in my head. So for my left side, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, Camouflage Secret. The shades that I use is SC3. And then for my Korean Beauty side, I'm going to be using the Etude House Big Cover Concealer Kit. Kind of has that like salmon-y color too. And then the other concealers, so just to show you guys kind of what that looks like. And again, the price is very different. The Laura Mercier concealer is $35, and the Etude House one is $12. Oh girl, <laughs> that is not my shade. Okay, so again, there is a little bit of a color difference here. The Etude House one is a little bit lighter than the Laura Mercier one. I like how the Laura Mercier went on better, but the Etude House one is obviously more affordable. And again, this is kind of the same point with the eyebrow pencils. Like, these are not my preferred form of concealers. Um, personally, I like liquid concealers better just because I have dry skin. Now let's move on to powders. So for my luxury side, I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Professional HD High Definition Powder. And then on my Cream Beauty side, I'm gonna be using the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder. Now the price difference between these is massive. The Makeup Forever one is $36, and the Innisfree one is $7. And I've mentioned this before, but there are so many versions of this HD powder from Makeup Forever now that it's very easy to find a dupe but I'm just gonna go with the Innisfree one for this video because it's probably the most popular one. Okay, so how am I looking? I think I'm looking pretty much the same on both sides considering the price differences and considering some of these are kind of shot in the dark. So for my Korean Beauty side, I'm gonna be using this bronzer here. This is from the Etude House Face Designing Contour Palette. And then on this side, I'm gonna be using the Bahama Mama from The Balm. I actually really love this bronzer, so we're gonna see how this compares to the Etude House one, which I just dropped. Just holding them side by side, they look pretty similar. Those are pretty much identical too. The price difference between these aren't too crazy because the Etude House one is $15 and the Bahama Mama is $20. However, you do get three shades in the Etude House one and yeah, get a little bonus. For my cheeks, I was struggling a little bit trying to find cheek colors that were similar enough. Again, these look similar just like in the pan. Not really sure how these are going to turn out on my face. I kind of did some mild swatching. Um, this one's again from the Balm. This is Balm Beach on my expensive side and for my affordable side I'm using this from Etude House. This is the lovely cookie blusher in a number 11 peach 2 wafers. Actually those are pretty similar. I wouldn't say they're necessarily like spot on dupes but for the sake of this video I think that's not bad. Highlighters, so these are pretty dang close to each other. For my high-end side, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in Stunner. This is one of my favorite highlighters. And then also another one of my favorite highlighters, which is a Korean beauty brand. Uh, this is from Too Cool For School, and this is the Art Class by Rodin Highlighter. Um, when you blend all three of these colors together, it basically looks just like the Tarte Stunner Highlighter. So let's go ahead and apply this to my cheeky cheeks. So now that I have finished with my face makeup, I'm gonna move on to my lips. Now actually, surprisingly, the lip department is kind of where I struggle, only because Korean beauty trends are very different from Western trends. Actually, what I decided to do is I'm gonna show you guys these two because I haven't really compared them next to each other. They are kind of a slightly different concept because this is more of a lipstick and this is more of a lip balm, but I'll get into that in a second. So for my high end, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Double the Lip in the shade Revved Up Red, and it's one of those duo type of lip products. And then for my Korean Beauty brand, I'm gonna be using the Mamon Dual Tint um, Lip Balm. As you can see, again, it has that kind of like dual toned accent to it. Um, the price difference between these, this guy here, the Mamond one, is $12 and the Benefit one is $20. Now these aren't going to be exactly the same, I can already tell you that because um, this one's a lipstick and this one's a balm. And there we go, 
out. Now obviously there's a little bit of a difference in shades because this one's a little bit more magenta and this one's definitely more red. But like I said, the concept is kind of similar and that's why I wanted to kind of throw that out there. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If you guys have any other dupes you want to share with everyone else, I'm looking forward to reading through the comment section down below and finding some new ways to save my money. But this was really fun. Like I said, this took a lot of research for me and I was like comparing and trying to figure it out through looking at the products on the internet and kind of judging by my experience with some of these products and my past experience. So I hope this was fun for you guys to watch and kind of a spin on the high-end versus drugstore type of video. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!